Hey everybody, this is Keegan here and welcome back to my channel and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys and this is my second and last video for today. So earlier today I made my new Q&A video which I'm sure some of you may have checked out already and at the end of the video I said that later on today I was going to be doing another video and it was going to be a collection update video and now as promised I'm going to be doing that collection update video. So this is going to be a VHS, DVD, and 4K Blu-ray update for Monday, August 23rd, 2021. So over the last three weeks while I was away in Newfoundland, I've gotten eight, I mean six VHSs, eight DVDs, and two 4K Blu-rays. And I'll point out where I got them as we go buy them. So... And also, when we get to the DVDs, there's something I'm going to say about what, how I got the DVDs. I didn't really get them usually, like when I buy them at a store. Well, I'll say how I got it when we get to the DVDs. So, I don't really have too much else to say, so sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get started with the update. So, we're going to start this update off with the VHSs. And all of these VHSs I got at an antique shop. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a movie I've never heard of until now. And this is a Canadian movie. And this VHS was released by LL Grow Film Distribution. I think that's how you pronounced it. And it also has the Columbia Trust Our Home Video logo shown at the beginning. But this movie was distributed by Triumph Films, but at the beginning of the movie, it's not shown, but I'm not sure if it's shown at the end because I didn't do see the ending of the tape, but I'm pretty sure it might be shown. So yeah, it's got some tape on the spine. And it's got a barcode right there. Here we go. It's kind of dirty right there, but that's okay. I'll clean that up later. And it has Sin Ram on the on this side here. This is actually my second VHS tape to have that. The other one being Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. July 4th, 1996. This is my very first demo tape that I ever bought. And I also have another demo tape in this update that I'm going to show. I'm actually going to show it after this tape. Pause and read the details to yourself if you want to. This is a Touchstone Pictures movie co-produced with Spyglass Entertainment. It's got an ink label. And it has a Buena Vesta home video sticker right there, if you can see it. It's pretty cool. And it has the BVHV marking on the spine here. I mean, on this part of the tape, but we all know what that means. August 19th, 1999. Next one is the other demo tape that I got. This is a movie I've never heard of until now. This is a Dimension Films movie, but this tape was released by Alliance Atlantis. Here's, it has a sticker label. Very rare for Alliance Atlantis tapes to have a, a sticker label. Tape two out of three. I do have the 2005 print of this movie on DVD. 
However, I bought this tape for a specific reason that I'm going to show you in just a second. This movie was released when MGM was celebrating its 75th anniversary. And here's the reason why I bought this tape. Ta-da! It's a red tape. How cool is that? I think these are rare to come by, I'm pretty sure. I also have another tape in this update that also has a red tape that I'm going to show next. It's in good condition. You probably can't see the print date, but it was printed on February 13th, 2000, one day before Valentine's Day. I will keep my DVD copy of this movie and keep this VHS. I probably will get rid of my DVD copy if I get the Screen Factory release on Blu-ray if I can find it. However, I know that the Screen Factory release of it's out of print, but I'll probably find it one day. I remember watching this movie in school back in the 7th grade, and it's a really, really great movie despite Kevin Spacey. Well, we all know that, well, nobody knew about it until 2017. Yeah. Kind of baffled he's actually... Kind of baffled but not surprised that he's starring in a new movie even after the... Uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to get into that in this video. This is a Warner Brothers movie co produced with Bel Air Entertainment. Here's the tape. Part of the tape right there is broken, but that's okay. It still works okay. Fine. Printed on May 2nd, 2001. And now on to the last tape for this update. This is a movie I've been wanting to get for a while and now I finally have it. And this is one of Christopher Nolan's first movies he directed. This is actually the third movie he directed after Memento, which I do have on Blu-ray. I also saw a VHS copy of Memento at the antique store where I bought this tape but passed on it. I'll probably get it on VHS one day though. September 19th, 2002. And those are all the VHS tapes, and now onto the DVDs. Before we start, the, we continue with the DVDs, I kind of want to say where I got these DVDs. Now, these DVDs used to belong to my grandfather, who unfortunately, back in December, he passed away three days after Christmas. And while... I was in Newfoundland with my brother and my dad. We were at my grandparents' house cleaning out his stuff, and I found a box of DVDs, and I decided to take out, take what was mine. I mean, take the DVDs and get rid of the rest that were in the box. So here are the DVDs that I got. This is the widescreen edition, and there's a little rip on the plastic, but that's okay. Now the disc is in good condition. Well, it has a little mark on the disc, but I think it'll play okay. I will keep this DVD until I get the Criterion Collection release of it on Blu-ray at some point. But for now, I'll keep this DVD. This is a Foxlight... Fox Searchlight Pictures movie. Here's the disc, which you can see me on the camera. And the disc is in good condition.
This is part of the widescreen collection and has the Paramount 90th anniversary logo on the DVD. And this movie was also released when Paramount was celebrating its 90th anniversary. Co-produced with Intermedia, IMF, and National Geographic Feature Films. This is a movie I've never heard of until now, and this is the full screen version. This is one of the early DVDs that was released by Columbia TriStar Home Video slash Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Not many special features. Well, there's pretty much no special features on this DVD, but that's okay. And it's a flipper disc. I think this side is the full screen and the other side is the wide screen. Three more DVDs and then we're on to the 4K Blu-rays. This is a movie I've been wanting to check out for a while, so I should sit down and give this movie a watch at some point. And this is a snapper case. And a flipper disc. This side is the wide screen and the other side is the full screen. This is another movie I've been wanting to check out for a while, so I went ahead and picked it up. This is a 20th Century Fox movie co-produced with DreamWorks Pictures and Imagine Works. Wait. No, Image Movers I meant to say. Last DVD for this update. This is the widescreen edition. And I do have Letters from Iwo Yuma on DVD in the Clint Eastwood box set. This is a DreamWorks movie co-produced with Warner Brothers Pictures. And this is a snap case. And here's just the boring gray disc. Now onto the 4K Blu-rays, which both of these I bought at Walmart. And the first one is a box set. This has all four of the Indiana Jones movies, which... I used to have the Raiders of the Lost Ark and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull on DVD a long time ago, but I lost them, so I figured why not buy this box set for 
89 bucks. I think that was the amount I paid for at Walmart. Here's the sticky. Here's the thing that was on the back. And on the other side, it just has credits for all four movies. And this side has all the treasures from the movies, like the art from Raiders of the Lost Ark, those three stone thingies or whatever they were called in the Temple of Doom, that chalice or whatever it was called in um, The Last Crusade and the skull from Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Here's the disc for Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is a 1981 movie. Here's this Here's the disc for The Temple of Doom, which is a 1984 movie. Here's the disc for The Last Crusade, which is a 1989 movie. Here's the disc for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which is a 2008 movie. And here's the bonus material disc. Here's the digital code. If you want to enter it, go right ahead and enter it. I'm not even going to use it. And the code expires on June 8th, 2023. And here's a little booklet that was in it. It comes with like a little map or something. But I'm not going to show it because it has uh, spoilers for all four of the movies. And the last 4K Blu-ray and also the last thing for this update is an upgrade and also a steelbook. I can now get rid of my regular Blu-ray release of this movie and stick with my 4K Blu-ray cop. I mean 4K Blu-ray copy of this movie, which not only has the theatrical version, but also the uh, the bootleg slash director's cut version, which my Blu-ray copy came with was was uh my blu-ray copy was the one with the bootleg cut and this is also one of my all-time favorite movies this is a dreamworks movie co-produced with columbia pictures and vinyl films however the uh columbia pictures logo is not shown in North American prints of this movie, only in the international prints. And here's the back. That was uh, glued onto the back or whatever they use. Here's the disc with the theatrical version. And here's the disc with the bootleg cut aka also titled untitled which is they use in the opening credits untitled instead of almost famous in the theatrical version here's a digital code which this expires on july 13th that's the update so that's it for today's video you guys thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like please feel free to leave a comment below and subscribe for more videos like this and feel free to follow me on instagram and letterbox the link to my letterbox is in the description down below 
So once again, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.